As expected, the capture of the village of Krasnoy gave the Russian army extensive opportunities for the successful development of the offensive both towards the chase of Yar in the north and towards Kleshchevka in the south. Yesterday, Western analytical centers, citing their own sources in the Ukrainian general staff, confirmed the statements of war correspondents that Russian troops managed to make significant progress in the direction of the Canal Microdistrict, also known as Vostokny. Maps of the fighting are already being distributed online, where it is clearly visible how Russian troops came close to the eastern part of the chase of Yar. According to war correspondents, the Russian army is located just 500 meters from the first residential high-rise buildings of the eastern microdistrict of Chesiv Yar. This means that the Russians are already on the outskirts of this city. Thus, it can now be officially stated that the battle for the Chesiv Yar has already begun. Moreover, the successful offensive of Russian troops is also observed in the village of Bogdanovka, northeast of the Chase of Yar. It is reported that the Russian troops managed to finally dislodge the armed forces of Ukraine from the central part of this village. At the moment, the units of the Ukrainian army have gained a foothold in the western part of Bogdanovka and are desperately trying to hold their positions there. Ukrainian telegram channels, commenting on the situation near Chesivyar, complained that Russian units continue to rapidly advance on a vast front, which indicates that the Russian army does not have a shortage of manpower and heavy equipment in this section of the line of combat contact. American military experts from the Institute for the Study of War, who a week ago, in all seriousness claimed that the Russian army has neither the strength nor the resources to capture the chase of Yar, have now completely changed their statements. Surprisingly, the Americans now have begun to claim that the capture of chase of Yar by the Russian army may occur in the coming months. According to them, this became possible thanks to the successes of the Russian army in the Avdiivka direction of the front, as a result of which the Russian High Military Command was able to send some units from Avdiivka to the Bakhmut direction of the front. And supposedly this factor allowed the Russians significantly to strengthen their units near Chase of Yar. Thus, all the forecasts of American military experts from the Institute for the Study of War turned out to be wrong. In other words, American experts really do not know how events will develop not only in the direction of Chase of Yar, but also in other areas of the front. Moreover, the claims of American military experts that the defense of the armed forces of Ukraine is very powerful and impenetrable also crumbled like a house of cards. In addition, against the background of another success of Russian troops on the battlefield, American experts and analysts began to reiterate that Chesivyar has no strategic significance and importance from a military point of view, and that the loss of this city allegedly will not negatively affect the armed forces of Ukraine. At the same time, looking through numerous comments on military internet forums, it becomes clear that even ordinary people who closely follow the fighting in Ukraine, are well aware of the significance and importance of the capture of Chesivyar by the Russian army. The fact is that the transfer of this city under the control of the Russian army will open the way to Konstantinovka, as a result of which the combat units of the armed forces of Ukraine south of the Donetsk agglomeration will find themselves in a very difficult situation. By the way, American experts made similar statements also concerning other cities that came under the control of the Russian army. In particular, we are talking about Mariupol, Bakhmut, Mariinka, Solidar, and Avdiivka. 
Hearing such statements, I would not be surprised that as soon as Russian troops come close to cities such as Odessa and Kharkiv, we will again hear from those experts from Western analytical centers that these cities also allegedly do not have strategic importance from a military point of view. Meanwhile, new details have emerged about the massive Russian missile attack on the western regions of Ukraine, which took place on March 24. Yesterday, in my last video, I described in detail where and exactly what kind of targets were destroyed during this Russian missile attack. However, on the evening of March 25, after the Russian military department officially recognized the successful destruction of all the intended targets, new details of this missile attack appeared. So, as it turned out, during the missile attack on western Ukrainian cities such as Stray and Lviv, Russia used not five, but nine Kinzhal hypersonic missiles. Moreover, influential Russian telegram channels directly connected with the Russian military department, confirmed the information that on that day, Kinzhal hypersonic missiles destroyed not only the secret NATO staging airfield for F-16 fighter jets in the city of Stray, along with officers of the Polish army but also several underground warehouses located on the territory of the Yavriv training ground, 30 kilometers northwest of Lviv. Let me remind you that the Yavriv training ground is the main lair of the so-called foreign mercenaries in Ukraine. And this military facility is guarded by dozens of German, French, and American air defense systems. However, as it turned out, they were powerless against Russian hypersonic missiles. It is reported that three Russian hypersonic missiles hit that military facility within two hours of each other. So, on March 24, at 3 p.m. Moscow time, two Kinzhal hypersonic missiles hit underground warehouses with Western heavy equipment on the territory of this training ground. And, two hours later, after high-ranking officers of the Security Service of Ukraine, the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, and NATO, arrived at the site of the explosion to assess the damage, another Russian hypersonic missile struck the same place. As a result, on March 24, within three hours, not only Western heavy military equipment was destroyed, but also about 20 high-ranking officers of Ukraine and the armies of NATO countries. Moreover, according to influential Russian telegram channels, the destroyed NATO officers were representatives of the French army, 